Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we've been getting a lot of rain here lately. And uh, trying to get out here a couple rows in. I was asked to uh, pull an ear of corn and show it off. This is some of our first planting. I may have to put y'all down for this. Let me put y'all down for this. We'll bring you back after the intro. So what we got is 12 rows around, 42 tall on this ear. Uh, this corn is pretty dang thick. It's supposed to be planted at 30,000. And uh, it had issues with the monitor or wheel speed sensor on my planter. It was planted thicker. But uh, someone asked to see this, so we're not necessarily going to do a crop tour. We're going to do something else, but there it is. Well, I'm interested in knowing what that field's going to do in here this fall. Uh, that's Pioneer 1464. And that field two years ago really stood out in corn, which uh, we had a crop land. Uh, variety on it that year so like I said the population on that field was uh, manipulated by a wheel seed spencer, sensor so I'm headed over to another farmer's place to uh, pick up a quick hitch and uh, we'll bring you back with something else well, I was on the way to uh, friend's place this morning when I stopped checking corn oh I got this uh, quick hitch attachment off of them I don't know yet what I'm going to use it for but I got it in case I ever need one well it's rained probably 10 out of the last 14 days so dad's going to go cut some hay up the road it didn't rain there today but it's rained here so i'm hooked to the uh bush hog and uh i'm gonna go bush hog uh, some of this pasture we didn't cut for hay and uh like i said we've really got the rain uh a blessing and a curse really good on the corn and soybeans but i still got some soybeans to spray and we'll talk about that here in a minute Get off here and uh, see if we cut too low.
Oh yeah, it's just right. We'll get back on here and uh, give it a whirl. Got one there cooling off. Well, one reason why we're clicking this instead of cutting it for hay is uh, when you cut hay and remove the hay from the ground, you're removing potash and uh, other nutrients. Well, you've got to put that back in some form or another. Uh, clipping it, the potash is going back in the ground. But, uh, I thought I'd explain that. And we do not cut hay for sale. So, we're just trying to get up enough uh, to feed our own cows and we do cut some for and roll some for some other people but not on a uh, big scale. We got some cows out there Sunday. I don't know if y'all can see them good. What I don't like about a GoPro saving something for this channel and that's fell through and I'll probably bring you back on it here in a little bit and I still don't have my replant done on my double crop soybeans because of rain but they are looking a lot better so if I don't get it done there will be something there to combine may not be all 60 acres. Well, they out stirring around now. You can see quite a few calves right there. That red one and that black one right behind it, I believe they're ready to sell. Another the black one is. I have people tell me that they want to see the, see the cows and the calves. That red heifer there, it's like she's selling age. So there's, your, there's your calf, cows for today. A month ago today, 
I got the call from the guy I rebuilt my injector pump, home 8940. He had it done. Also, I had just got done the first planting of double crop beans. So I got it, you know, got the pump back a day short. But uh, they put the pump on and uh, I had an O-ring that goes into the block that my oil filter or fuel filter is mounted into that was bad. Waited a week and a half on it and uh, not to do some mechanic but a mechanic that's working on my tractor got it running and said he felt like there was a uh, a squeak like the uh, pump wasn't getting old in the front of the tractor uh, front cover of the engine block so he was going to show me the squeak and I met him down there and we changed the oil because the oil didn't look right even though I, I'd only put a hundred acres on that tractor and uh, so we never could get it cranked back we've had the diesel mechanic back down there it is clear that the pump wasn't getting oil so the pump is back off I don't think it's that bad a shape but there's something on my engine now not causing it to get oil to my injector pump so that's where we're at on it it's I'm not let it bother me until now it's kind of disheartening but we've had a sample of the fuel and the oil because the oil did look funny sent off for uh, analysis so that's where we at on it
we got this side of the ditch done, uh, like that over there. I'm gonna do some of them behind the shop and uh, bring y'all back on something else. Probably getting boring just to bush hog it. Well, I just got done with this and uh, did a little short live stream on the tractor here. So if you was on the live stream, you're probably uh, we got a little deja vu watching this video. But I'm going to pull up here at this gate and uh, bring you back with something else real quick. Well, we looked at some corn today, this morning. And uh, I'm cheating on this because this is some of the best looking beans we got. But we'll look at the beans real quick. I don't think there's any blooms yet. Uh, there's one right there. But uh, we got some more that looks this good and some more that needs to be sprayed. Then we got some beans that don't look like uh, good at all. So uh, I want to thank all y'all for being with me this year. Been at YouTube right out of year. So, uh, thank you all for watching this. Uh, leave me a comment. Y'all know I love comments. And, thank you for su subscribing. And, uh, I'm gonna go eat me some supper. And, uh, talk to y'all later.